hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you guys are loving this effortless makeup look stay tuned but before we do make sure you guys like comment and subscribe okay so we're gonna start off with the freshly washed face then a little lip balm to keep my lips moisturized I'm gonna start off with the face moisturizer followed by this hydro grip primer by milk a little goes a long way but make sure the product has dried before you add anything on top first step is brows so I'm using this brow pencil by e.l.f. in the shade Brunette. It has a really, really fine tip, so it kind of makes it easier to work with. Freshly groomed brows make the process of doing brows much easier. But what I'm doing here is I'm lightly shading in the bottom following the shape of my brow. And then I'm putting most of the product towards the end of my brow. And any product that I put towards the front, I kind of brush it out to not make it so harsh. And as you see... I'm brushing it out and then towards the back I'm just gonna add most of the product because that's kind of where it needs more coloring and more hair and just do it lightly and the more you do it the easier it gets the hairs in the front go kind of like in an upward motion and the ones towards the back kind of go sideways so I'm just following the shape of my brow and creating that arch just to get the brow right now I'm just gonna take an angled brush and a concealer of my choice and just take the concealer and basically use it to line up under my brows. So now I'm gonna go on with the smudge brush. The goal of this brush is to basically blend out all the excess concealer that may have been left under my brow. So I'm just going in a downward motion to blend it out so all the excess concealer is not clumped up at the top. Then I'm just gonna take that same brush and go in a sidewards motion, basically following the shape of my brow just to clean all the extra product and do not pick up the brush as you're doing this. Do not pick up that brush to give it that clean look. Now you can see, and if I went in without blending it out first, I would just have so much product sitting there. But as you guys can see, it's looking okay. And I'm gonna basically repeat the step on the next side. So here's how my brows are looking so far. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Shape Tape Concealer from Tarte, and I'm just gonna put them on my eyelids as a base for my eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna go in with this concealer brush to blend out all the concealer on my eyelid. Then I'm gonna go in with a damp Beauty Blender sponge to make sure all the concealer is blended. Now I'm gonna take this Sashka Buttercup to set my eyelids using the concealer brush. Now I'm just using this NARS concealer to conceal the creases and bags under my eyes. Then I blend it out with the concealer brush followed by the sponge. Now I'm going to go back up to my eyes. So I'm not really a pro when it comes to doing eyeshadow, but one thing I use is my contour palette. I take the darkest color in my palette and I just use it for my eyelids just to give kind of like a smoky eye but dark natural looking color. So if you don't really know how to do eyeshadow, this tip will be great for you watch me as I do it nice and lightly it's a shade that's a little darker than my skin tone so it seems like there's something but it's not really much now it's time for foundation so I'm using the Maybelline fit me foundation in the shade 355 so I'm putting foundation everywhere but under my eyes where I concealed because I don't want too much product to build up under there to cause creasing so a little goes a long way with foundation I know I'm a little heavy-handed but you don't need to use as much as I did after using my brush to apply the foundation, I'm just using my sponge now to make sure the product has blended into my skin. Now I'm taking this Too Faced Concealer in the shade Cookie to conceal under my eyes and just to brighten up some areas in my face that need to be brightened up. As you can see, under my eyes, my nose, and my chin area. So now I'm just using the concealer brush to pat it in. You know the process like I did before. I'm just alternating between the front and the back of the sponge. So the front is basically used to blend out the concealer and then the back of the sponge, just in case you might have a little too much concealer or it's not blending in well, the back is a great tool to use. Using the concealer brush, I'm just taking some translucent powder and just patting in product under my eye. I don't want too much translucent powder under my eye area where it creases, which is why I use a brush to apply it. And for the areas where I don't get as much creasing, like my cheekbones and under my chin, I'm just using a sponge to apply the translucent powder to let the concealer set. And while everything is setting, I'm gonna move on to do my lashes. 
When it comes to putting on lashes, I start off by putting on mascara just to tame my real lashes. After applying glue to the lash, I place the lash in the middle of my eyelash using a tweezer. Tweezers work for me. Then I work on the back, then I do the front. Now that my lashes are done, now I'm just using this brush to wipe away all the excess translucent powder as well as pressing it into my skin. So I don't want everything to be gone, but I'm just pressing it and then wiping away the excess. Using a finishing powder, I'm just using it to go over my face and most of the areas where I concealed just to kind of give it some color because the translucent powder kind of makes it look a little ashy. So I'm just giving it some color so my face can pop a little more. Now I'm gonna set my face with this Morphe setting spray. And once that dries, I'm gonna move on to blush. Using this blush, I'm just taking a brush and just adding a little bit to my face. I don't like my face too blushy, so just a little bit. For the lips, I'm gonna use this brown lip liner by NYX, followed by this liquid lipstick in the shade Global Citizen. I'm gonna apply it and wait until it dries. Then I'll go on with this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade BLG 14. Then the gloss kind of just brightens up the matte lipstick. Just gives it like a nice little shiny vibe. Last but not least, I'm just using a little mascara to define my bottom lashes. And here's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All the products that I've used will be linked down below. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!